Right, rejoining me on the Maxcom 30E. On the receive side of this radio. Incidentally, the reason I bought this Maxcom 30E off eBay is because someone who I talked to in the town of Grantham uh, asked me if I'd do a 30E. And in the last two months when I started doing these videos, we haven't had one in for repair. So I've bought one. I can always sell it, can't I? So that's why I bought it. Okay, so on receive, the first coil to adjust. If I put my notes in the right order here. Is T5. And that's there. I'll just take the tone off. It does help the sign on meter. A bit of improvement there. Next one is 112. No, it's not. Next one is 6. Next one is 7. Next one is 8. Just set that with the tone. There isn't the nine fitted in this particular chassis, which would be just down lower. Perhaps that's one of the differences with the crystal filter. I don't know. Anyway, uh, what's next? Oh, yes, the detector. Well, it certainly isn't as sensitive as yesterday's um, Harrier, which we did. Um, that's 0 0.3, 0 0.25, 0 0.2, and then you've kind of lost it in the mush. But that's far better than the manufacturer says it is, so it's, it's a good example. Right, we'll set the signal, um, the signal generator to 100 microvolts, which is S9. We'll check the meter's reading S9. It's reading about 10. Now some S meters are adjustable on Maxons and some aren't. Um, if fitted, where is it? This is where we pause the video. Yeah, I'll just show you where it is. I've been able to adjust it. It's tacked on the back of the meter. Just there. That's the one. So I've set that for S9. As you're aware, some Maxon chassis have a S meter adjustment, and some of the earlier ones don't. Uh, and the meters can be a bit on the lazy side, shall we say. It's clearly, they rectified that later on in production. So, um, we'll set the detector now. The detector has wax in it on this particular one. And it's that one there. Now, what we'll do is we'll just switch the other oscilloscope on. And then we'll attack it with the soldering iron. Just move that light out of the way. We're looking for maximum possible audio. Despite there being wax in there, there was some improvement gained. And now it's time to look at the squelch. Switching the signal generator to the off position, setting the squelch to threshold, switching the generator back on, come straight in. 
switching the squelch to full on the radio and then seeing where that is on the generator unfortunately it never comes in so we need to adjust the squelch preset the squelch preset is RV101 I'm just going to clean that in case could be a dirty preset so I've reset that now we'll go through that test again signal generator off set squelch threshold generator on that comes straight in squelch to full comes in at 1 volt which is just about plus 30 so that now is set properly and you know what that concludes it so it's just a matter of doing a bit of um, of tune up on it so that was a nice purchase wasn't it oh we better do the AWI what I tend to do with these and I should say don't do this at home I've unplugged the antenna connector I'm going to just press transmit for a second the AWI comes on done and if it didn't with the dummy load connected onto the instrument as it is I would go into transmit on channel 20 and then adjust the AWI preset until the um, AWI light just comes on and then back it off till it just goes off and that seems to be the threshold of that circuit there we are so I'll uh, put it back together and we'll see if there's anybody on the air I'll be lucky